a star for the ages and the world. A German-built global phenomenon. The Mercedes W124 is worshipped around the world, on social media and old-school style among collectors. A cult car that you never want to get out of. It's one of the most reliable cars around the world. I like the, the size. The W124 will be here forever. Across the world, the Mercedes W124 has a special meaning for those who've driven it. In Hamburg, Anna Weichart has a dozen of the models. Built between 1984 and 97, the mid-size car was available as a luxury sedan, wagon, coupe and cabriolet. The secret of the W124 is that it's the most laid-back car you can find. It's like a sofa, but you're out on the road. It can even help to leave your stressful daily routine behind you. Everything you touch has this ergonomic feel. Not even the horn is aggressive. Everything is tuned to be non-aggressive. It just puts you at ease. So, as a result, driving a W124 makes you a really laid-back road user. Arne Weichart is a photographer. He used his professional talents to put the Mercedes W124 in a unique light. This illustrated book charts the story of how he rescued an old W124 from the scrap heap. And, in a labour of love, turned it back into a resplendent star on four wheels. The original idea behind the book was to share my love of the car with other people. And also to show that a lot of the things at the start about how to recycle a car, although what I actually do is restore them, are things you can do yourself. The 124 is a star on the global gearhead scene. It's DIY friendly as demonstrated by Anna Weichart. And online you'll find no end of advice and insights from owners around the world. The Facebook group set up by Romanian Razvan Alexandru had almost 400,000 members practically overnight. That the W124 is just such a popular car that it brings a lot of attention and it definitely keeps a lot of cars on the road because uh, we, we help each other and we, we keep each other um, up to date with uh, all the repairs. The group brings together W124 fans from Afghanistan and Pakistan to Indonesia and South America. The car's following comprises an unlikely variety of people, all devotees to the cult surrounding the legendary Mercedes. There are people from all the uh, age categories, and also uh, you, we, can, we also have female, female members that uh, are passionate about W124, and uh, you're going to be amazed to see how, how cool their cars look. It's a very diverse uh, community with uh, people that also want to improve their cars, not only keep them on the road. So we basically got these people from America, Europe, or Japan. In Japan, the high-performance special editions of the 124 are in especially high demand. There's the eight-cylinder engine generating 320 horsepower. And the limited edition from Mercedes performance brand AMG also feels right at home on the racetrack. I'm owning uh, AMG E60. And perhaps uh, that car is only one in the world. It was very cheap, only 3 million yen. In Japan, uh, cars aged over 10 years had uh, less value in the used car market. But it's not just because of their output that Makoto Uchida collects W124s. I like the square design 
and the size size of uh, this car is uh, very comfortable to use uh, in Japan. Not too big, not too small. Social media has plenty of examples of the W124's talents. Instead of cruising, how about a bit of curve drifting? It's nothing else than passion that keeps those these people together. All the feeling about it, it's something special than other cars. It's a very good combo between uh, simplicity and uh, reliability. W124 succeeded in making it simple, keeping it simple and reliable, and uh, I think that's the greatest thing about it. From Africa to Albania, all around the world, you'll find W124s on the road, some with over a million kilometers on the clock. The simple reason why, a no-nonsense, dependable construction that's really easy to repair, should there ever be any problems. It was conceived brilliantly. I wasn't there at the time, but what I have found out is that you can work on most of this car using just three wrench sizes. A 10, 13 and 17 millimeter wrench are all you need to take apart 70% of this car. Then there are the engines with their sizable displacement but relatively modest output. Talking of staying power, the chassis is likewise built to last forever. The advantage of the 124 is that everything's a tiny bit thicker and a shade heavier. Everything's thicker and therefore lasts a lot longer than some pressed aluminum parts. This is genuine heavy metal. Heavy metal. Heavy metal of the smooth variety, which is why there are so many 124s still on the road today, some three decades after they rolled off the production line. And Arne Weichart has a growing fleet. Eager to share his love of the car with others, he founded Rent an Oldie in Hamburg, where anyone can hire out one of his W124s. Florian Faber is one of Arne's regular customers. Once you've driven one, you don't want to drive anything else. It's all mechanical, with knobs for everything, and you don't need voice control. I've driven thousands and thousands of kilometers in them. Sure, sometimes you have to top up the water, but it's just hood up and you're done. It's self-explanatory and easy to find everything. It's a lovely piece of mechanical engineering that you can understand. And if there's an issue with his cars that Arne Weichart doesn't understand, he can count on Christian Hahn for enlightenment. He's a bona fide W124 expert who's familiar with every nut and bolt of the cars. For decades now, he's been converting models from the range into exquisite special editions. Arne Weichart and Christian Hahn two car enthusiasts with a shared passion. Technically, W124s are downgraded versions of the S-Class, except they all have this solidity due to getting everything from the big car. Mm. Exactly. The car has the steerability because of its thick, solid construction. Yeah. It runs forever. I drove 400,000 kilometers in one of them and then sold it for a decent price, which the next guy probably did too. That's not possible with other cars. And they're still desirable today. Other cars don't have that character. With these guys, you see one and recognize it immediately. Hans Klientel has included some seriously rich people looking for very special Mercedes models. Prime examples, this 600 model customized for Aristotle Anassis. And this S-Class with specially requested gull-wing doors, although his most creative constructions were 124s. 
We have done convertibles and sedans, including truncated versions. One is a pickup, a target top, convertible and wagon, all in one car. And easy to switch between. I grew up with the 124 series, practically the last real Benzes. The later ones had a cheaper construction, built under price constraints. They wanted to make smaller cars, and eventually it was just no longer the same thing. But the W124 earned itself iconic status in automotive history, standing for freedom, indestructibility and timelessness. They were in vogue for a long time without any changes, whereas other models got a facelift every three, four or five years. And customers appreciated that. We stood out because we made extremely specific custom modifications. We made some of the sedans six-door models, because some customers in the Arab world have a second wife. And you need a car everyone can fit into. One of the six-door W124s he originally converted for a sheikh eventually ended up in the collection of Makoto Uchida. I love German cars mm, so much. Nothing else than hobby, passion, and love for this car. It's, that's uh, one thing in common for all the all the group members. I don't know if Facebook will be there for as long as the W124 will be. So I don't know that, but the W124 will be here forever. And indicating too, there are precious few cars that indicate so pleasantly. Angenehm blinken schlichtweg. The Mercedes W124 is a phenomenon, a cult classic built in Stuttgart that has conquered the world. How do you rate the car? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Rev if you haven't already done so, and give the video a like.